Hola y bienvenidos a otra lección. Actually, today's not a full-on lesson. Today's more of a review of 4B or the 4.2 um, uh, series. A uh, few things we just want to go over real quick here as we wrap up this chapter to summarize things. Vocabulario, we talked about um, things like um, desfile, fuegos artificiales, um, celebraciones, uh, family get-togethers, um, talking, talking about parientes, who is there. We talked about greeting each other, words like besarse, mwah, mwah, abrazarse, darse la mano, um, saludarse. Uh, we talked about several words like that. Um, let's see, what else did we talk about this chapter as far as vocab? Um, let's see, bebé, fuegos artificiales, parientes, alrededor de. If any of these words don't sound familiar to you, or if you're like, wait, what was that? You know, go back, check the vocab list again, because first of all, vocab. You need to know the vocab. You should know it by now. We've used it plenty. Okay, the next thing we talked about in this chapter, and this was the doozy, the imperfect. Um, we talked before, we used the imperfect before to talk about uh, what things were like when you were little. I was a good kid. I was a, you know, we talked about that kind of stuff, how things used to be. But in this chapter, we talked about the imperfect for situations, setting the scenery. It was a dark, rainy day. Well, that's the imperfect because it was something that was going on. Okay, it's not something that, bam, happened in the past. It's something that was going on. Uh, the house was a big house. The house was a little house. They were happy, things like that. Uh, we found that, that in class that we've slipped away from the preterite for a little bit, so we had to do a quick refresher. Up here on the screen, I've got the, uh, the endings for the preterite. Remember, the preterite are actions that are completed in the past. Specific beginning, specific end. So, A or verb like hablar, hablé, in green here. Hablé, hablaste, habló, hablamos, hablaron. Okay. ER and IR verbs, comí, comiste, comió, comimos, comieron. So we did a review of the preterites. Now, at this point, I'm not going to teach you more about those, but if you sit there and you look at this and you're like, oh, I've got no idea, go back to, I think it was the 3 series, 3.1 or 3.2 series. We had a lot of preterite back then. Um, so check those out. Maybe it was 2.2. Okay, um, or check, check your books, find other things, look up the preterite in Spanish. Okay, then we have the imperfect. Remember the imperfect is for actions that used to be happening in the past, things that were going on in the past. Um, AR verbs, these are abas. Yo hablaba, tu hablabas, él hablaba, nosotros hablábamos, ellos hablaban. And the ERs and IRs. Yo comía, tu comías. El um, one trick that might help you out here is if you're trying to figure out the difference between the two, like if you're filling in a blank and you're saying, hey, is this going to be preterite or imperfect? Think to yourself, can I say here that I was doing this or I used to do this? If you can, it's probably imperfect. For example, um, I was eating a burrito when my sister walked in the door. Okay, can I say I was eating a burrito when my sister was walking in the door? Well, that changes the meaning. I was eating a burrito when my sister used to be walking in the door. No, I can't use used to or was in either one of those situations. So it's probably preterite because it's a bam, she walked in the door. Okay. Um, I hope that made sense, that little analogy of using was or used to, how that would be imperfect. So again, if it's something that was going on, Something that repeated in the past, an emotion, describing something, describing a scene in the past. We're going to use these abas and iyas. Um, by the way, those of you that are my students, on the test, um, on the test on this unit, you will have a paragraph that has blanks, and you have to fill it in with either the preterite or the imperfect verb. So I just wanted you to be prepared for that. Sort of like, um, uh, sort of like. I think you had a page in your packet, 4B-5 and 4B-7 in your packets. Um, kind of a combination of those two. Kind of like 4B-7, but you don't have to put I and P. You just fill in the blank with the correct. The verb is there. You just have to decide if it's predator or perfect and write the conjugation. Okay, I'm rambling on. Okay, so those are the imperfects. So, yo comí un burrito cuando él entró. The green line 
a green line here, what you were doing, okay, that's imperfect. Something that was going on, that's the imperfect, the alphas and the es. What we've got here in red, what interrupted the action, that's preterite. The bam, when he entered. Okay? So that's preterite and perfect in another example there. Ayer hicimos un picnic. Yesterday we had a picnic. Well, you'll see that this is preterite. We had a picnic. Not we were having a picnic. We used to have a picnic. We just want to say we had a picnic. So it's preterite. Bam. Yesterday we were having a picnic. Hacíamos un picnic. Cuando empezó a llover. Well, again, you see, it's, we were imperfect when it started to rain. Well, starting is a preterite action. Bam! It started to rain. So that's going to be our preterite. Remember, imperfect is the abas and ias. Preterite are those endings. Eas de vamos a Okay? And again, like I said, describing something in the past. La casa era grande. Eran felices. Okay, the last thing we have, the last grammar, the last new thing we had this chapter uh, were the reciprocals. And we talked a little bit in class about, somebody said, well, reciprocals, senor, that's math. Well, yeah, you remember reciprocals. You flip them. You do it to each other. Okay, kind of like if you're standing and you look looking in a mirror. You see a reflection. That's reflexive. Okay, reflections are reflexive. But reciprocals are actions that people do to each other. So like they see each other. Get it? It's like the reciprocal. Those same arrows. They see each other. They talk to each other. They greet each other. And we talked about how similar that was to the reflexives. So you have a verb like abrazarse. To hug each other. And if we want to say... If we want to say they hug, we simply say ellos abrazan. But if we want to say they hug each other, we need to use this pronoun at the end. Ellos say abrazan. Okay? We hug each other. Well, that say doesn't stay say. Now it switches to nos. And then abrazar now conjugates to the nosotros. Nos abrazamos. And uh, let's see, we also talked about how you don't use the reciprocals with any of the singulars, yo, tu, el, el, usted, because you wouldn't say, I hug each other. No, it's just the ellos, ellos, ustedes, and the nosotros. And, of course, you can make those past tense. Ellos se abrazaron, they hugged each other, bam. Or se abrazaban, they used to hug each other, they were hugging each other. Okay, and that is, that is the whole chapter, that is... That is everything we did this chapter. So there's your quick little review. Um, those of you that are my students, you do not have an assignment for this one, but make sure you have your notes sheets ready because um, I will be collecting those. I'll give more instructions in class. Okay, gracias. There's your big repaso. Buena suerte. Oh, vocab. Go back to um, 4.2.1 and 4.2.2. Go through the vocab again. Make sure you know those. Okay, gracias. Ciao.